LPT when someone is tailgating you. Don't be dangerous and brake check them. Do this. Clean your windshield. Use the toggle on your wipers that sprays the fluid and runs the wipers. I have a long commute and I deal with aggressive drivers all the time. This popped into my head while it was happening to me this morning and it worked immediately. Guy backed way up off of me. No one can be mad at it either. What are they gonna say to you? Lol. Even if they try, my response would be along the lines of, I was just cleaning my windshield. I didn't know that it would get on your car. That sounds impossible unless you were really close. Hope it helps you guys. Be safe out there also. If you're the tailgater, you're a horrible person. How powerful is everyone else's windshield wash sprayer? Mine just sprays my own windshield. I used to care. Not anymore. I simply make way and usually stay on the middle or the right lane. I will forever stay in the right lane to not get in the way of aggressive drivers lol. I remember reading this tip years ago on here and have been a dedicated washer fluid user since. Some people definitely get super pissed. I've had at least three that pass at warp speed that I can remember. Cut me off. Then use their washer fluid too. This is passive aggressive and can worsen the situation as well. My tip would be ignore them and drive how you feel safe. Before spraying wipers or brake checking first be sure you aren't camping in the left lane. If you are and someone is trying to go faster then you move to the right. Yeah for sure if the driver behind you is being a dick. But if you're being the dick and going the speed limit or not passing in the left lane then just move over and stay in the right lane. Why not just let them pass? Tons of folks jumping to conclusions on OP being a left lane hog. Do you never drive on a simple two-lane state highway or county road and have a tailgater? I'm about 50-50 for my commute four-lane with median two-lane yellow line. I rarely get a tailgater on the four lane. More often on the two lane road. When I am tailgated, I use the spray method. I will also slow down if it's really bad not fast. Just a gradual slowing. It's really annoying when is solid traffic ahead and you get a joker behind you tailgating as if. You can do anything about it. Even if you did want to speed up. If someone is tailgating you. The correct action is to move from the passing lane into one of the other ones. Well-adjusted sprayers only spray your own windshield with watery cleaner. Why waste it spraying somewhere else? Now if the wipers fling it on their car too bad. Edited to add. I never actually brake check anyone. But I do sometimes turn on my hazard signals to kind of say I'm already doing all I can. Did this. Dude screeched around me, got in front of me, did the same. I waved back. If someone's going faster than you, just make way. Just switch fucking lanes. Here in America where guns are a plenty and mental health isn't so good I do imagine someone. Getting shooty after getting their windshield damp. Thanks for cleaning my windshield mate lol. I do this. It works fantastically and makes you feel like James Bond. I slow down gradually until they pass. Cleaned my windshield with Hell's Angels behind me. Once grin. The real LPT if you're not in the far right lane. Then you're impeding traffic and you need to move over. Or either speed up momentarily so he can pass if there are other cars in line with you causing a wall. Being aware of the cars around you is super important to safe driving. I feel obligated to mention that if you do this with a biker behind you, you should prepare yourself for a very bad day. OR. Do this. Consider why they're riding your tail. If there are multiple lanes, move over so they can pass. You don't know their story or who might be bleeding out in their back seat. I don't understand how this would even work but that's fine.
In my opinion, anyone who is tailgating you on the highway does not care about your safety and is okay with killing you and all your passengers in the event they rear-end you at highway speed. These people do not deserve any sympathy for getting a surprise windshield cleaning because they were not maintaining a safe distance. My same opinion stands for those who weave through highway traffic at highway speeds, typically never using their blinkers. What a great way to fuel the fire, just move out the fucking way before you get yourself killed. Ah yes the play childish games while piloting a massive rolling hunk of steel strategy. Gets em every time. Real life pro tip for dealing with tailgaters slow down in a predictable manner and get over if possible. This is so stupid. Move out of the left passing lane and stop trying to be road police. I miss my old 89 Bronco for these situations. When people tailgated me in high school and college, I would just roll down the back window and my passengers would start hucking shit at their windshield. Wrappers. Trash. Half-eaten food. Half-full soda cups etc. They got the message and backed off quickly. No way that sort of thing would fly in this day and age. But back in the late 90s woo don't f with a 10-year-old MPV full of crazy teenagers that gave zero f's whatsoever. Tailgating happens when you don't move to the right 85% of the time. Or just get TF out of the way. I shat my pants once because some wannabe vigilante of speeding wouldn't move over. Everyone else for the past five miles. Up until you. Got out of the way immediately. Also. If you're the tailgater. You're a horrible person. Yeah not so fast there. If you are in the leftmost lane. There is a car in the lanes next to you. You have miles of open road ahead of you. And people behind who clearly want to go faster than the speed limit you are imposing on everyone. You're a horrible person playing Russian roulette with your life and the lives of other drivers. Or, you know, GTFO of the way. You're not there to police other people. You're also not there to impede traffic. This works great on tailgating motorcycles. That's probably more clever than what I used to do. I used to in the summer adjust my washer nozzles so that they were aimed above the windshield. That way, I could squirt the fluid directly onto the car behind. But now I just leave extra room in front. If I want two seconds in front of me, then I also want two seconds behind me. So, if the guy behind is half a second back, then I just make my following distance 312 seconds. I can only change my behavior, not other people's. This has been discussed many times. You're not the first to try it. It usually ends up escalating the situation. One time I did this. The tailgater got all pissed off and followed me off the exit and for a good 10 minutes after. My wife was not happy. You can also insert a pin to redirect the nozzle tips. So they spray more upwards. Getting more firepower. Good idea. I'm always considerate about when and where to activate my windshield washers. Now I don't need to when someone's constantly on my ass smile with horns. I once brake checked late at night. No one around. It won an aggressive brake check. Just tapped a few times to get him off my rear. He aggressively drove around got in front of me and slammed on him brakes making me skid to a stop. We both sat there for a good five seconds. Me catching my breath and he slowly drove off. Never again. Thanks for the tip. This is my husband's go-to trick. Nothing makes him more tickled than watching them have to turn on their wipers to wipe it off. I don't brake check people. That's super dangerous. I do gradually slow down with my foot off the gas until I'm able to switch lanes or they back off. Or you could just get out of the way? If I see someone coming up on me fast, I just get out of the lane. Why deal with road rage?